The Dangers of False Narratives, Part 5. Nostalgia. What is nostalgia? A wistful or excessively sentimental yearning for return to or of some past period or irrecoverable condition. When you're facing the test of having to let go of what is familiar, it always seems to look better back there because we tend to have a short memory of the pain we had to endure from the sin we were trapped in while we were back there. God delivered us out for a reason. I remember back in 2003, the year I was graduating from high school, that year was dubbed the year of the sequel, as all the top movies set to be released were sequels to previously hugely successful, successful movies. That stuck with me even after all these years. And from time to time, when nostalgia kicks in, I'll remember that little fun fact. We often have a deep desire to revisit moments, things, places, or even people that made us experience a certain feeling or had some perceived positive impact on us at one time. Entertainment seems to be one of these destinations we love to revisit, oftentimes without considering the consequences of that visit. Fast forward to 2020, and during COVID lockdowns, I noticed a large number of nostalgic narratives coming out, from old movies being slated for remake to celebrities flocking to YouTube channels for Zoom calls to reunite the cast of old movies. Music artists reunited with old group members and entertained with their greatest hits. During a time of great global uncertainty and chaos, the temptation to withdraw into a familiar place of comfort and pleasure greatly increased because it was a moment where God revealed where we were and caused us to decide if we would grow closer to him and go deeper in our walk to know him in that place of uncertainty. Walking solely by faith was not a viable option for many who had not been grounded and rooted in Jesus. We had either a superficial relationship with him or only a relationship with a local gathering. Having no idea how events would play out, lacking an intimate relationship with God, and being bombarded with false narratives coupled with an overwhelming desire to hold on to or recover a sense of normal, people were in a perfect posture to take their eyes off God and begin to look to things and people that made them feel secure and comfortable. But right there, in that moment of fear, is also a deceiver who desires for us to look back at what once was and desire the good old days. The false promise of being fulfilled by that thing is being dangled like a carrot. The emotional pull is what grabs many of us. The world is constantly playing on our emotions, whether it's the endless reminders of past grievances and disputes between different racial groups to drive a false division or enticing with false promises of recaptured youth through product advertisements. Nostalgia is never intended to propel us forward into the promises of God. It is designed to hold us in a place of false comfort, stunted and unaware that the plan that God has for us requires us to take his hand and walk. Reflecting on pleasant memories and blessings that God has provided is not an issue if they do not cause us to desire to go back to that moment and stay. There are places, people, and things God will remove from our lives as we begin to walk with him, learn his ways, and trust him. Many of the things that served us in the previous seasons cannot go with us to the place God is taking his people. One painful lesson I've learned over the years, and still learning, is grasping the difference between my feelings about old things in my life and the reality of those things. I watched an old childhood favorite movie recently, and the warfare that came afterward was a reminder of why certain doors have been shut for me and why God pulled me out and continues to, to call all of his children to set our faces on him, never desiring to go back to things, places, or people he has called us to separate from. Remember Lot's wife, as they fled, the angels warned them, escape for your life. Do not look behind you and do not stay anywhere in the valley. Escape to the mountains or you will be swept away. We're fortunate to receive similar warnings. Ephesians 4, through 24 tells us to take off the old self that is ruled by sin and be renewed, putting on the new self that is in the likeness of God. Similarly, 1 John 5, 16 says that 
Willful, deliberate sin can lead to death. Lot's wife wasn't able to accept that. What she chose to value in her heart led her to sin, which led to her death. Backsliding requires us to forget about the goodness of God, to let go of his hand and turn around to walk back to the graveyard and set up camp where he buried our old man. Let today be the day where we pack up our gear and return to the Father. We don't need the temporary comforts of earthly nostalgia because it will cause us to lose out on the best God has for us both now and in the age to come. Be encouraged to walk forward, refusing to call to longingly look, refusing to call to longingly look back at what once was because that desire will be used by the lawless one in the coming years to cause people to receive the mark so they can go back to the lives they so desperately want to preserve here on earth. This world is not our home. Jesus has prepared a place for us and he is coming back for his spotless bride that is looking longingly for him.